We're now going to take a look at a, a case where we have uh, no fluid motion or uh, a fluid at rest or at a constant velocity and this will enable us to come up with the hydrostatic uh, pressure distribution equation. So this applies for fluid at rest or constant velocity. So by that, that would mean, for example, a velocity field that looks something like this. And with that, the acceleration vector is zero and we can write del squared v is equal to zero as well. Consequently, the equation that we had for a fluid With this, the acceleration term goes away, that goes away, and we're left with the special case where the gradient of pressure is just the density times the gravity vector. Now, typically, gravity is oriented down. Unless you're doing space fluid mechanics. So what we can say is that G is minus GK. And with that, uh, writing out the gradient terms, what we have is dP by dx is 0. dP by dy would be equal to 0 because there's no component on the right-hand side in either the i or the j direction. And finally, dp by dz is the only term that would exist, and that would equal minus rho times g, the gravity vector, or the scalar value of the gravity. And with this, that means that uh, pressure is only a function of z, so we can rewrite that as an ordinary differential, and we get dp by dz is equal to minus rho g. So this is going to be the equation that we're going to work with for hydrostatic pressure distribution. And what we'll do, let me write that out again. So we had dp by dz equals minus rho g. And what we're going to do, we're going to integrate this. So let's rewrite that. We would have dp on the left is minus rho g dz. And we're going to integrate that. So that would be P2 minus P1 is equal to the integral between two limits of rho g dz. Now, notice I've uh, written this out. Within the integral, we have density as well as the gravity vector or the scalar value of gravity. Now, typically for the problems that we're going to look at, gravity won't change. However, density can change. And so we'll look at two special cases of that in the next two segments. Uh, but the integration So uh, we're going to assume that the gravity the scalar value g is going to be constant and not changing with z. However, density can, and we're going to look at two special cases in the next few segments. The first one will be a liquid. And for a liquid, for the most part, the density does not change. And the second thing we'll look at is gas, and in particular, we'll look at air. 
Now that is one where the density can change with elevation and we'll look at uh, the, the values within the atmosphere. So those are two special cases that we'll look at and we will apply that to this equation here. And that will then enable us to get the hydrostatic pressure within fluids, either liquids or gases.